Hey guys, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud, and this week I wanted to talk about a newish feature in Google Voice that launched late last year uh, that I missed that allows you to change your outgoing caller ID, which is very, very useful. If you want to know how to do it and you want to know more, you know what to do. Stay tuned. So this week, I wanted to talk about a feature that actually launched at the end of last year as part of Ring Groups. And I actually didn't think that the feature had launched, so I don't know if I missed it or if it snuck out at some point um, and maybe wasn't announced. Maybe some of the uh, other Google fans out there can let me know. But the feature allows you to change your outgoing caller ID, so that's the number that appears on somebody else's phone when you're calling them, um, based on the ring group that you're part, part of. So firstly, you have to be part of the ring group. Uh, I've explained ring groups in a previous video, and we'll link below. Um, and you also have to, has to be allowed by your administrator. So, so you can allow either individuals or a set number of people within the ring group to be able to change their outgoing caller ID. So by default, it would be the Google Voice number that is assigned to you. But if you're part of a ring group now, you can actually change it. And I want to show you how to do it if a ring group is, if you're a member of a ring group, and then also from an administrator point of view, how you can enable it. So what I've done is I've got my phone here um, and I have it uh, visible on my screen so that you guys will be able to see the call coming up so when I make a call here you can see that I've got my default uh, caller number which is my direct line um, and I have my uh, fin mobile here so if I call my my mobile and um, it's going to come up on the phone um, as my UK number. You can see my phone is running out of battery. So we're gonna, we're gonna see it come up as the UK number here, okay? So uh, that's fine. Um, if I end the call and I switch now, I, I have a little drop down and I can switch to the Irish number, which is our, I've named it DC Irish mainline. So that's Dams and Cloud Irish mainline. I can switch, you can see it's an Irish number there, a Dublin based number. Now it's dialing it from the Irish number. So even though I've just swapped over that, that little drop down, that's all that it took now. And I'm, and I'm getting the call on my phone and it's coming up now with our Irish uh, number. So this is very useful for me. When I'm making phone calls now, I can switch between these really, really easily. And it's um, very common that I will have to make a call um, in obviously in Ireland to our Irish customers. And before it was coming up as a UK number and people may be expecting obviously a, a Dublin based number from ourselves. So it's useful to be able to switch over and you know be, be able to get through, through to people easier. Um, I haven't managed to do it from my desk phone. I do have the, the desk phone, which you can just about see in the background there. Um, there may be a way to do it. I have not figured it out. If someone else has, uh, please do let us know in the comments below. But you can do it from um, the mobile device. So that's what I'm going to show you now. So if I open up Google Voice on here, uh, we're just going to shut this guy down, move this fella into the center. And if I um, do it on here now, if I go into um, my dialing uh, pad, so the little pad and I now have a drop down here and it saved it as the Irish number because that's what I just done on the other device so I go back to my direct line or I could switch back to the Irish numbers and just switch between them and I can dial a number now some something that I noted that was interesting is that it saved which number I had dialed from in my previous dials. So if I went back and I dialed, even though they look the same, so something you, you do need to be aware of and maybe just be a little bit conscious of. Um, if we go back here to the Google Voice calls and I dialed um, this number, the outgoing one, whatever was the one that I selected before is the one that it uses. So that's just something to, to note. So you'll see here on the mobile device, I can actually select to switch between them, even though I, I called from um, my direct line before, I could switch to the, the landline and so forth. So that's how you do it as an end user. As I said, it's available on mobile, it's available on the web. 
I'm not aware of it being available on the desk phone. As I said, I have not been able to um, to figure that one out. So if it is available um, and I'm incorrect on that, as I said, someone can can let me know. I just want to show you from an administrator point of view how you would actually enable this for your end users. For those of you that are admins, uh, you can stay tuned for that. If you're an end user and you already uh, have access to this, then uh, you can switch off now. Okay, so we go into the voice settings um, uh, of Google Voice and we go to ring groups. Okay, so I was saying earlier on, ring groups allow uh, multiple people to have a number diverted to them. I've gone through in another video how to set up ring groups and, and it is very useful for people um, if it isn't something that you've done before. So I can have these members of a ring group and then I can also say that, that any member of the ring group can actually place a call using this number as their caller ID. Or if I want, I can authorize individual users to be able to um, make a call using uh, this particular number. Okay, so that is it uh, for me this week. I hope you guys found this useful. Um, as I said, I was actually unaware of this feature and I came across it and I was super excited about it and um, I wanted to make a video straight away um, because it's actually a feature I've been waiting for for a while because it's something that like literally directly affects me. So when I'm making a call, I, I, I would love to be able to switch to the Irish number when calling Irish customers and UK when calling UK customers. So you can see for um, people working in different jurisdictions or regions, very, very useful. And Google Voice recently just launched in, in two or three other uh, regions in, in Europe. So again, it's being made available in more and more places. Um, and the feature set is just growing and growing all the time. Really excited to see where Google Go with, with Google Voice this year and Google Meet and some of their other video conferencing and um, collaboration solutions and how they're kind of starting to really bring all of those uh, uh, tools together. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. Uh, let us know what you thought in the comments below or if there are any topics that you'd like us to cover in our next video. If you haven't, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel or our LinkedIn page, which is where most of our videos get posted. We are also on Instagram and Facebook as well. I will chat to you guys next week. Outtakes. Who doesn't love some good outtakes? Testing, testing, one, two, three. I am. Okay. You're good to go, except the screen is going to sleep. And I told it not to do that.